Welcome ladies and gentlemen, my name is Epoxy and here in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to disable mouse acceleration within Fallout 4. If you've noticed at all on PC that mouse acceleration is a bit of a problem and it's kind of messing up your accuracy with your weapons or you just personally don't like it, then this tutorial should help you out to remove mouse acceleration from Fallout 4 permanently. So we're going to start off with the more complicated way of changing this. But this is the way to change it without installing any new programs or anything like that. So if you don't like installing programs, but you're fine with taking the harder route, then this is the one for you. So anyways, you're going to want to go ahead and get into two different directories. The first one is going to be your PC, Documents, My Games, and Fallout 4. You want to go ahead and get into that directory, and you should see files like this. More specifically, you should see the follow for prefs. It doesn't have to say .ini behind it, it's just simply because I have my extensions to be shown. And then also there's the follow for .ini. And then we also need to go into the directory PC, local disk C, program files 86, Steam, Steam apps, common, and follow for. You might have your game installed on a external solid state drive or something like that. Go ahead and go to wherever you have follow for installed and go into this directory that has the Fallout 4 executable file. Now once you have both of these different directories open, what you're going to want to do is go into all the Fallout4.ini files. So we're going to start off with the Fallout4.ini and the Fallout4prefs.ini. So what you're going to want to do is right click these files, go down to properties, and make sure read only is ticked off. And apply and hit OK. And the reason for that is because if you go ahead and make changes while well, that's checked, it's not going to save. So we want to go ahead and make that change to all of these. We want to uncheck that. And then go into here and do the same to this. And then we can see that it's not set as read only so we don't have to change it. So once that's done, let's go ahead and open up one of these at a time. And what you're going to want to do is hit Control F. And this is going to be a notepad or notepad plus plus whatever one you're using. And type in controls, hit enter and it should bring you down to this right here. Now I already have this line added, but this is the line you're going to want to add. It's not going to be there in the first place, but you're going to want to add it. So this line right here will be down in the description below, so you can just copy and paste it. And on this specific file, you're going to want to put it below the F mouse heading X scale and also the F mouse heading Y scale. And you're going to put it right here. Once you have that, go ahead and file, save, close that, right click, properties, read only, and apply and hit OK. And then let's go ahead and do the same for Fallout 4 prefs. So we can go ahead and hit Control F, type in controls, hit enter. Brings us down to a different looking one. And what we want to do is highlight all this and go right before gameplay. Right above gameplay, we're going to want to enter the same line. And that's also right below B gamepad rumble. And we want to enter that line. And then we can see that it's there now. Then we can go ahead and hit file and save, close, right click, properties, check off read only, hit apply, and hit OK. Now you can feel free to close this, but I'm going to keep it open for the rest of the tutorial. Now let's go ahead and move on to the follow for default. Open that up. We're going to find controls again. And then we can go down. And then we're going to add the line below F mouse headings X scale and Y scale again. So once you have that entered, go ahead and hit file, save, close, and you're going to want to leave it as not read only. So once you've made all those changes, you can go ahead and launch up the game and your mouse acceleration should be gone. Now some people do have the problem of their game resetting all these any files no matter what, even if you change it to read only. And if you have that problem, or you just want to use the easier program version of changing this, this also comes with other changes as well. We can go ahead and download a thing called Fallout 4 Configuration Tool by Belago. I'm not sure whether that's how you pronounce his name, but let's go ahead and show you how to do this. So I'm going to link to this Nexus page down in the description below as well, and it's actually pretty simple. So we want to go ahead and click on the Files tab here, and it'll bring us to 17 different files. We just want to go ahead and choose the main file, the newest one, and hit Download manually. We don't want to click Download with Manager, and once we do that, it should pop up this, allowing us to just download wherever we want. Let's go ahead and download it to our downloads. We can go ahead and go Show in Folder, and now we have it here. Let's go ahead and extract it. 
with 7-zip or WinRAR, whatever one you have. Let's go to Extract to Fallout 4 Configuration Tool. That should make us a brand new folder. We can see that it's right here. We can open up that folder and it'll give us the Fallout 4 config tool.exe. What we want to do with this is simply take it, drag it into the Fallout 4 folder, replace the file destination if you already have it, and then we will see that we have a Fallout 4 config tool.exe. All right, so once you open up the Fallout 4 configuration tool, this is what you'll see. You'll see the ability to change all sorts of settings. You'll be able to change your field of view, your autosave interval. I personally changed mine to one minute. I changed my field of view to 90. And then we can also change the mouse acceleration and disable it. So you want to uncheck it. And then you can also disable the intro video. You can disable and enable mod folders, disable and enable scan lines for the pit boy and terminals. We can enable and disable the compass, enable, disable the gore, enable and disable the console and we can also enable or disable the v-sync lock and we can also change multiple other settings such as the mouse sensitivity and also set custom resolutions and there's also other tabs such as performance colors settings but that's not really what this video is about it's more about disabling mouse acceleration on fallout 4 because it is one of the most annoying things that they added especially on the pc version of the game so anyways, hopefully this video did help you out. If you guys want to go ahead and check out the configuration tool, like I said, it will be linked down in the description below. And I personally suggest this route as it's a lot easier to use. And also all you have to do is once you've changed your settings, click save, and then you can go ahead and simply close this. You don't even have to launch your game through it. And then you can go ahead and launch your game through Steam or through a launcher, whatever, and all the settings will work. But that's all I wanted to show you here in this video today. Hopefully you all got something out of this video. And if you did, please smack that like button down below and subscribe to join the good fight. It would be super greatly appreciated. But until next time, this is Epoxy, signing off.